Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial. This sweet scrapbook layout is one of me and not all, but some of my bestest friends from school. There are seven of us in total. So we are missing Hayley and Karen in this one. So this was taken two years ago at, at <laughs> up at the Plymouth Hoe, which is where I live. And you can see the lighthouse there in the background. So it's a beautiful, beautiful part of England and I love living by the coast. So I decided I wanted to scrapbook this photo and I thought I would use the new Gardenia collection. So you see me there just flicking through the 12 by 12 paper pack and I've pulled out that lovely polka dot background, which is gonna be the main uh, background. <laughs> and then I've got this lovely butterfly paper. Some of you are probably looking going, oh my gosh, she just rips into that paper. I don't get attached to paper because there is always another nice collection coming out and there's always something new around the corner. So I appreciate it. I enjoy it for the moment it's out and yeah, rip into it, enjoy it. So you can see there I've ripped into the butterfly one and also the lovely dragonflies. And then I've got this striped one, which is just the reverse of the dragonfly, I think, or is it the butterfly? No, I think it's the butterfly. So I'm just um, popping my photo on there just so I've got a nice little matching border. And then I think afterwards I then stick it on yeah, that's the reverse of the dragonfly one, that deeper green. And then again, just framing it on that. So just keeping everything together. Now, this is my new toy. I've actually got all of them. So there's six in the collection and these are the new opal polishes by Cosmic Shimmer. They are gorgeous. Now, there is a magic with them. You're not going to see it in this tutorial, but I will be sharing them next week. Um, they're just wonderful. They dry pretty instantly, so they're not really... They're not meant so much for what I'm kind of using them for now, but I just wanted to create a really shiny background without losing the polka dots. So it looks a bit odd there in the photo, but actually when you move it and stuff, it looks really, really nice. And I do add a little bit more in a minute. So now I'm just sticking down those two larger sections there. At this point, I still wasn't really sure in terms of like orientation, how I was going to have it because the dragonflies can, you know, you can turn that paper anyway it doesn't matter and the same with the butterflies so I knew I wanted to keep it quite centered the photo so I'm going for you know in because usually I kind of stick to the left or the right when I do my layouts but I thought this one I'm going to stick right in the middle so I'm bringing in some of this uh gold yeah sorry I did pick up the rose gold before but this is the gold washi tape this was just in the pack that I picked up from the range and I'm just popping three strips there through the middle just to break it up a little bit and you can see now I'm just really working in that opal polish and it is, it's really, really nice. It comes with the lovely little sponge that's all compact that goes in the lid. So there's no mess. You don't have to lose any excess either because that just stays on the sponge. But you can see now how it just, it really does shine. So that color I was using is, let me just grab it. It is the Golden Flamingo. But like I said, I do have the whole collection of the opal polishes. So now I've just added some foam adhesive to the back of my photo and I'm just going to stick that directly in the centre there. You can see I'm still thinking, mm, should I go down? No, nope, no, nope, go on, Sam, stick it down. Go on, go on. There we go. That's it now, no going back. Then I'm just going around and distressing all of the edges with my little Dovecraft distressing tool. This just frays and breaks up all the fibers on the corners there. Again, you can see that better in the photos. You, I don't know how well or what screen you're watching this on, but you can just about make out there that it's just ripping it all up. So that was actually near the end of the day that I done that bit and then I stopped and this is now the next day. And what I've gone ahead and done is using, these are some stamping up punches, is I've just cut a variety of sizes. Um, I've done a larger flower and a smaller flower. And then this is another punch which has got this really nice little leaf. And I was actually being a bit lazy. I couldn't be bothered to die cut a ton of leaves. So I just thought I'm gonna grab that punch and just do a load that way. So it does also punch out like a bird and its wing, but you can see there I'm not quite punching out the bird. I'm missing it and just doing the wing and the leaves, but it was just really, really quick. Then I've just got my foam and I'm just kind of um, molding and shaping the flowers there. It just really makes them, um, you know, come to life a bit, gives them that 3D dimension. And then I'm just going through and adding one of my flat back pearls to the middle of each one again, just to 
give them a little bit of shine and bring them to life a little bit just and um, adding a tiny bit of a lean's tacky glue there as well just to make sure they don't fall off and then i'm just arranging them now i am covering the lighthouse it, you need a little bit's left in there but i have tons of photos of the lighthouse and so many better ones of the lighthouse it's kind of you know you see it your whole life you get very much used to it so it, it wasn't about that in this photo so i will may well scrapbook another page one day with the lighthouse or smeaton's tower as it's known um but yeah for the minute it's not really what I was kind of focusing on. It's just me and Louise, Catherine, Kirsty, and Katie. So now I'm just sticking down all those flowers with my hot glue. Again, just keeping them really, really close and tight together. So I've got nice little clusters either side. And then just slowly start layering up all of the, the gold leaves. And um, just, yeah, just I've really made it really full. So you can see there by by magic, there's loads already on the page and just keep kind of feeding more of them in. I did go ahead and cut some more out again because I just really wanted to, ha to add quite a lot of shine there. This is the Dovecraft Gold mirrored cardstock and it just obviously worked great with that opal polish and also the gold washi tape that runs through the middle as well. I was going to add gold to the middle of the flowers, but I thought, no, I'll keep them with the pearl colour because that kind of matches the papers and stuff. So I didn't want to go too, too cold, too, too cold, too, too gold. But um, yeah, I think it works nicely. And um, you can see now I've added even more and they come start to kind of crawl into the photo as well, which I thought was nice. Now I pulled in Smile, you'll see there, but I didn't like the plain gold. So I pulled in these other letters from American Crafts. It's Picnic, I think it's called. Um, they've got a slight kind of like white kind of, yeah, a slight white border on them. And I just thought that little kind of white on each of the letters just helped them kind of stand out a little bit, I guess. And just broke up that gold. I just thought it was going to be a bit too gold otherwise. So, yeah, I preferred it this way anyway. And then I also added in that little friends for life and just done a little tag on the end of it and then also this one here i've put them on foam adhesive again i've put a little tag cut on the the far left of that one good times with good friends and these are from that box that i shared in last week's layout which i picked up from the charity shop and i got literally thousands of these random phrases and they're just so good so they were going to be pretty much used and i think in every single layout then this is just my i think it's the heidi swap sticker book no it's amy tangerine i think and i just pulled out the memories because it's clear sticker so you can't see the sticker at all just the word memories and i thought that was again nice just to pop on the sky there and then i've got these little hearts which i'm going to have kind of just off of the left and the right hand side of the layout and i just thought that was another nice little touch as well as you can see i think i do three on that side and i think i do four on the other side of just all different sizes and again just another nice little kind of thing to add to the layout so yeah i really liked how this all came together as with most of my layouts i never really know what i'm going to do i tend to just start with the paper and then see where it takes me so now i'm just bringing in my nouveau drops i can't remember what this color is but it's a really nice like pearlized golden color it's nice with a green hint of green as well so i'm just going around and adding some of those drops and that just kind of finishes the album so the album the layout it gives it a nice little bit more dimension there's loads of textures loads of height to this layout and yeah i really really liked how quickly it came together and you can see the shine that that opal polish you can see the frayed sides there and yeah i think you're going to see me using those polishes a bit more but i loved it so you can see now how lovely it looks <laughs> I never know what to say. I'm not trying to fill the space now while you see these pictures coming up at the end. But, but yeah, hopefully you can uh, see it clearly. It's inspired you as always. And yeah, enjoy it. So I will be back again next week with another scrapbook layout. And I'll be back again on Monday with my normal tutorials. Thanks for stopping by. Bye. Bye.